guys, it's me again, and I am here to do a review that I did beforehand, but unfortunately, I had to delete delete it. So, um, just a quick review of what I just thought of the movie Hotel Transylvania 2. Now, if you guys have not seen my original 30-minute re long review of the first movie, let me just give you give you what I thought of it in like one short um and one short take i absolutely love that first movie even though with with its cliched story i really do enjoy that that first movie really very much it was a very it was a surprise for me and it also brought up the halloween spirit in me and honestly if you're a nerd for any monster movie or any just the whole halloween in general highly recommend you watch that first movie and Right now, I'm here to review the sequel for the second time. So, um, I, I was pretty much, you know, really excited to see this movie. And, you know, then I heard, you know, not getting good ratings from the critics and everything. So, but I had an open mind. I went to go see this movie. I'm going to judge it based on my own terms. What I got out of it was probably... Like, it was probably one of the, it was probably one of the most pointless, it was probably one of the most pointless sequels that I have seen in probably a while. I mean, I I cannot, like, you know, ex extinguish enough. If you guys saw my uh, original um, review of this, you know that. Hey, I gave I gave it a, a six because hey, at least it had the great animation. At least it had these characters again, and I I I still think that I still think yeah, these are really these are good characters, and this animation is fantastic. And now thinking about it more, after I posted that review, I'm like, right now I'm I'm still in denial. I'm still in denial, but let's just get on to, you know, people who haven't seen my original review. So pretty much, this is just a story. Five years after after the original, Mavis and Johnny have a baby, and Vampire Drag is finding out whether the kid's a human and whether the kid's a vampire. So he pretty much sends um, Johnny and Mavis to, um, pretty much sends Johnny and Mavis away. And um, Drac is, uh, you know, taking the whole gang on a road trip to find out whether the human is half human, half vampire. And, um, you know, there is some things I haven't talked about in um, my original review that I want to address something over here. And that is, yeah, the plot is still, the biggest problem of this movie is that the plot is very, very rushed. And it it could have used a lot more good writing. Adam Sandler co writing with Robert Smigel, and that did not happen in the original. So I... You know, for for this movie to have that, it it is much weaker in the writing department, and I really wish they could have brought the other guy that um that wrote the that wrote the original back, and hopefully, you know, hopefully with what what's going to happen with this franchise, hopefully it will come back, and I I will report that once I get to movie news, but I um I really. I, I actually, I do appreciate some effort that was probably put in here where, you know, Adam, Adam, you know, always gets a bad, get, gets a bad rap for, you know, his acting, his movies and everything like that. Technically, his writing is, does not really, um, technically the writing does kind of bring it down, but I think the main problem with this movie is the pacing. The pacing's too rushed. And also the story on that matter, too much subplots, too much subplots for me to even handle, to even describe right now. Because, you know, there's a whole plot about prejudice, there's a whole message about we will love you for who you are and we don't, and you know, we, and you know, we don't, we don't care like, you know, what you pretty, pretty much, you know, we, we don't, we don't care about, you know, the things that you, um, that that you like because you know what we're gonna love you the way you are it's like that's why they added the freaking born this way song from lady gaga in the trailer because god 
this film could not hammer it in that like hammer that in that message in so much. But I'm just saying they could have done it better. But for what they did, it's not bad. And you know, for all that aside about me lo loving that first movie, lo me loving these characters in the animation, but still kind of taking a much more weaker turn in the writing department, I'm. I'm torn, I'm still torn on this movie. I'm still like you know, biased on whether that this is, you know, one a movie that is you know it is pointless in its stupidity. It it is pointless for as a movie, but it's pointless stupidity. And again, it's like Despicable Me too. Like was that really was that really worth you know, was that really worth it? And I would say probably not, but. But again, it's it's a movie to where I think you need to lo I need I think you need to be a fan of the original to like this movie. And you know, people who weren't a fan of the original or haven't seen the original, you probably could guess, you know, the plot of the original very quickly and then like, okay, now now I I understand now. And cuz you don't really need to see the original to see this movie. And that's that's really a shame. It's really a shame that you don't need to see the original to see this one because I really do think that you know the original had something more better to to approach and it, it it was pretty much you know just a better all movie than this is and it really is such a shame it really is such a shame that you know Jendi Tarkovsky pretty much wanted to leave this franchise I mean he did that first movie because he wasn't getting any work he did this movie because they Sony did not really you know, Sony pretty much is like, no, you're going to make a second Hotel Transylvania. Because if you don't, then we're pretty much, I don't know if they were like this, but we're going to cancel your Popeye and pretty much, you know, do, like, you know, do you wrong. And I really feel sorry for this guy. This guy has such amazing talent. And, you know, he... He just brought so much to, you know, he brought so much to animation. He's one of the great animation legends. And, you know, he he tried to bring so much into this film. I just didn't think he liked animating the script. This, I mean, because, you know, the script did not, he put tried to put as much side guess as possible. And, you know, in the joke department, it it's like some hit and some don't. But I just, I just believe that, you know, the director did not like animating the script and he just did it because he just wanted he just wanted you know he wanted some help he wanted some rec recognition because of the other films that he wants to uh, also be passionate about i mean i'm not i'm not like you know dish dishing tartakovsky because he did not want to work on this film it is clear that he tried to put as much effort into this as possible just he did not try to put as much effort as the first one and I just don't think he he liked um he liked the script so I I, I mean with with the rating that I gave it last time I get it about six this time I'm gonna I'm gonna probably go like I don't I don't know I mean with with what I've been hearing about this with with you know people People like you know dishing this on um, dishing on this movie because one Adam Sandler came out with pickles, uh, pickles. <laughs> yes, Adam Sandler came out with pickles. Wow, that would be a that be more than a bad movie. Um, but Adam Sandler came out with pixels, and you 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 know you also have you have that going against it, and you also have you know the first of the recognition going against it, and someone's trying to get in, but. You know, you also have that going against it, and it's just, you know, it's just with me, again, I love that first movie so much, and I think that this sequel introduced new ideas that, that they could probably use for the third movie. I'll get to that later, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'm still just going to give the same rating a six, because honestly, I'm still in denial at this point. And um, I want to actually, oh, if I can find it, is it this one? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. And I had it. I had it, too. I don't know where it went. Um, let me go get it. I, um, I wanted to introduce something that I, I don't know whether or not people are aware of this. I'm pretty sure people are. Um, later, like, probably after I saw the movie and by Pigs Crying, later after I saw the movie, 
I went to go to my Barnes & Noble because, I, you know, I'm one of the few people in this generation who actually reads, and reads books, at least, and I, I saw this on, um, I, I saw this over there at the Barnes & Noble, and it's the Hotel Transylvania 2 um, movie novelization that I went to go pick up, and... And I was like, you know, I, I was like, okay, let me, like, because sometimes they change things. Sometimes they change things in the book that, you know, that, you know, apply themselves to a movie later. Hope, like, a little bit of the smallest of changes. But I was like, you know what, let me pick up this book because, you know, I, I want to see what they changed. And, man, did they change so much. Did you hear how much, um, the you know, the story was just so rushed in this one. I think this is what they should have went with. This is what they should have went with. The whole story. I hope that there is, like, I'm going to get the art book for this movie no matter what because I just love the art in it. But I hope that there is some deleted scenes or something that can relate to to at least this book. Because this book has, like, more... Of complex story than the, than the actual movie does. I mean, I mean, yeah, sure, they could have cut some scenes from the book, but hey, you got to see, you got to see, um, you know, the introduction of um, Vlad's father, who apparently only gets fifteen minutes of screen time in in um, in this movie, and it's not fair because I thought, man, what a great comedian. And what a great talent actually just wasted right there. And it actually shows him a little bit more early on. And it actually goes into, like, some dramatic things. I mean, you actually get to see, like, I, I'm pretty sure that's not the main reason. But I'm sure that's pretty much one of the reasons why Drac is so distant from his father. And you actually get to, you don't get to see it because you're, you're clearly reading it in a book. But... You actually get to, you know, read on how, how much, why, Dra one of the reasons why Drac, um, hates his father because, you know, of something that he did when he, um, he intentionally harmed something that he, that he, um, loved when he was a little kid. And I was like, what? I was like, they should have put that in the movie. I mean, I don't know whether or not it would have been probably a little bit too, um, no, screw it. Kids, kids see a lot of gruesome things these days. I'm pretty sure, you know, you know, someone, you know, someone killing s something is not going to harm anything, but anything, at least in a kid's mind. But, you know, there are some things that, you know, they could have done, especially, you know, with, um, with what they had to work with. This could have been something, if not for, like, you know, the rush plot or everything. I could have given this a better rating, but as of now, it's just... It's not. It's not bad. It, it is. It is pointless as a as a sequel. But it's not in my book. It's not bad. It's not strange magic bad. It's not. It's not home bad. Okay. I, I'm like I'm just complaining because those two movies are like. Even though I know strange magic is like so much worse. I mean, home is from like you know a a good animation studio, and I'm just like. Wow, what pointless film is this? And this is a follow-up. This movie is a follow-up to a movie that I really, really love. And, you know, just for just for that reason, I mean, I, I mean, I I guess I'm kind of giving it a pass, but I guess I'm kind of not at the same time. So, that's pretty much what I had to say, guys. Um and uh, I hope this review can, um, you know, catch on because I'm going to be, it's going to be, like, probably, like, three months until, like, New Year's. And, and I, um, and I want to, I wanted to upload this as quickly as I can because right, right now i got a lot of stuff going on. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as always, Jason Animation Critic out, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.